Hello Team Foster Family Fun. Welcome back. I'm just leaving the gym this morning. I left my old gym and I joined a new gym yesterday. So I'm just trying to get this body back into shape, lose a few pounds before the holidays roll in because I don't want to start on the new year. I don't want to put off what I can do today for tomorrow so I'm jumping into my new year slim down get right in November right across the street from the gym is the Dollar Tree that I like to go to so I am going to bring you all along with me to the Dollar Tree to see if they have all of their Christmas decorations up yet. I mean Halloween is over. It's been over for a couple days so I'm thinking they should be exploding for Christmas time right now. If you're new to this channel and this is the very first video that you're watching, welcome to Foster Family Fun. I'm LaToya. I'm one-third of Foster Family Fun. The Rorys are at work and school. And if you haven't already, I ask you guys to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just hit the red subscribe button down below. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Foster Family Fun videos. Around this time of the year is when I always go to the Dollar Tree to get Christmas decorations. Mainly I get a lot of decorations to put on the tree. So for those of you who've been following our channel for a while, you're already aware of this. But for those who have it, we are a military family and we move every two to three years. So you have to take into consideration that with moves, you have people packing, you have people moving, you have different people transporting, you have different people unpacking. So that's several different hands on your belongings that you just don't have control over, which means a lot of breakage. Also, we like to decorate our Christmas tree as a family and I have a 10 year old little boy who does not have such delicate hands. And I also have a grown husband who does not have delicate hands either. So, you know, that can bring along some breakage also. That's why I go to the Dollar Tree and I buy Christmas decorations and a lot of ornaments for the tree because I know things are going to get broken. And over the years, we've broke a lot of ornaments, so I do not spend tons of money on expensive ornaments. I go straight to the Dollar Tree every year. And another positive thing that I can say about the Dollar Tree is that they have really stepped up their card game. They have the Expressions Hallmark cards in here now. They are carrying better quality cards and you don't have to worry about going to Hallmark and paying five to eight dollars anywhere from ten dollars for a card. You can come right here to the Dollar Tree and get a good quality card for one dollar. Okay, well it looks like they do have the Christmas decorations out. They're coming along, but they still have some empty shelves. They're still stocking up, but they have most of the stuff out. All of the wrapping paper is out, all the bows. I love to get these bows to put on big gifts, so if we get little Rory a bicycle, or a skateboard or something like that that we're not going to wrap in wrapping paper I always put one of the big red bows on it from the Dollar Tree they have all the ornaments all lined up yep, everything's out here so time to get shopping and what I think is really cute that they have right now are these white ornaments. I have never seen the white ones. They usually always have the gold and red and silver, at least at the Dollar Trees that I have been to. 
This is not the first time that I've been to this Dollar Tree. However, this is the first time that I've been to the do this specific Dollar Tree for Christmas since we just moved to the northern Alabama area in this summer. So, I definitely will be getting a lot of these white ornaments. But I love these little white reindeer and the white snowflakes. I'm definitely getting that. Very nice. And for those who love to make flower arrangements, they have all of the stuff out for that as well. That's not something I normally do. I'm just not creative and as artsy, craftsy as for that type of stuff. This is cute with the blue. I don't think I've ever seen them have blue ornaments either. I definitely will be getting some of those also. And more flower arrangements. And then, of course, the platters. I always get some holiday platters from the Dollar Tree to sit my candy on, to sit my desserts on. Now, these are cute. The clear ornaments, especially for those who like to do crafts. This is something you can do with your kids, you know, to paint and decorate it and maybe put their names on it for an at-home project with your kids or a class project. I'm just not crafty like that. And little Rory, he does not. He prefers <laughs> to stay away from the arts and crafts stuff. I mean, if he has to in art class, he'll color or draw a picture, but that's not really his thing either. Oh yeah, I'm going to be stocking up, you guys. Look, they have faux snow. How cute. Yes, all of this stuff would be great for art projects with the kids or with the adults. They even have the large bulbs here. would be great with the kids or with the adults or it would be um, good for class Christmas projects. These are the things that I love to get. So, you know, a lot of the class have like cookie swaps and stuff. I always get these little types of containers and put some cookies right in there because they're so cute. I'll definitely be getting some of those also. And then all of the glassware and those gold plates down there I have those at home I got those a couple years ago from the Dollar Tree and I always put them out for Christmas and all of the Christmas cards are out This is cute little window candles. And also they have all of the Christmas candy out. And just as a reminder you guys, I'm in a Dollar Tree so everything in here is a dollar. And pretty much looks like they have everything that they normally have at any Dollar Tree. I've been to the Dollar Trees in California. I've been to the Dollar Trees in Colorado. I've been to the Dollar Trees in Georgia. Right now, I'm in the Dollar Tree in Alabama. I've been to the Dollar Trees in Florida. So, everywhere we move, been to the Dollar Tree in Tennessee, Virginia, any place we move to, I go to the Dollar Tree. Now 
this is one of my favorite candies, Mike and Ike's. And they have them Christmas snow, snowman. I've never seen that before. Very cute. Well, I'm going to wrap it up now. I got a lot in this car. I'm going to go check out. And then when I get back to the house, I'll lay out to you guys all what I got from Dollar Tree at my Christmas shopping haul. Here is everything that I purchased from the Dollar Tree laid out on the table. I am obsessed with the snowflake ornaments. I already have quite a few of them in my Christmas tree decoration box, but I still purchased some more and I don't have the white ones which I completely loved all of the white ornaments that they had in the Dollar Tree this year. And this little white reindeer, so cute. But I just got some more ornaments and of course more wrapping paper. And this year I got a lot of the blue and silver wrapping paper. I thought that that was very, very cute and elegant. So that's pretty much what I'm going to wrap all of our gifts in. Blue and silver wrapping paper. And I usually have Christmas wrapping paper left over. And, you know, I have been known to use Christmas wrapping paper for wrapping birthday gifts or any other type of gift because with this wrapping paper the back side of it is usually pretty much empty so I'll just flip the paper over and put a little happy birthday on there or happy anniversary and a bow and just let it ride because I mean ultimately all you're gonna do is rip the paper off anyways and some little Christmas candy which I use for stocking stuffers and then a few more bulb ornaments and like I said I really thought this cookie container was cute so I purchased that and then I purchased another candy container that matches the cookie container and then these items down here are just stocking stuffers so this is a 3D puzzle I'll put in little Rory stocking and this right here with the snowman is the paddle ball and then I got a lot of Christmas erasers and pencils and then this million dollar chocolate bar here but that's pretty much it oh and I got some uh, glitter stickers which I don't know what I'm gonna do with those but I just thought they were cute so I got them anyways this is pretty much it these are the only items that I got right now. I'm sure I might end up going back and getting more Christmas stuff. And some of this stuff might not even end up being our stuff because I might end up making a gift bag and giving some items away for a gift. Or some of them might end up going to Little Rory's class if they're doing a gift exchange or something like that. I don't really know. I just grabbed items that I thought was cute and put them in the basket. And there you have it. This is my Dollar Tree Christmas shopping haul. Thank you guys for supporting our YouTube channel. And like always, thanks for watching.